Let me ask you, both of you, Bobby, who was the toughest pitcher that you had to face, and who was the toughest guy you had to get out? You go first. Give me a time to think. It's for me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> One guy you just did not want to see come up to the plate. The little old shortstop for Philadelphia, played around Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine? Couldn't hit anybody else, and he hit <laughs> 240 in the big league, and hit 200 off of me. <laughs> he was four man. I couldn't get him out. My, my toughest was Koufax, and the 63 oh. World Series, I batted second. Kubek struck out, I struck out, Mattel struck out. Next time up, Kubek struck out, I struck out, Mattel struck out. Third time up, I just wanted to be a first ball hit it, hit it somewhere. <laughs> Kubek struck out, I struck out. I walked my man in the old neck circle, he shook his head and said, no use for me to go up there. He got in three of He had that good curveball though, didn't he? Yes, he did. <laughs> it was so easy. They used to feed me the coke pack. <laughs> Every time we go in and you, uh, LA, I pitched against him one night. They had 103,000, and they announced the uh, announced in the fifth inning the uh, attendance 103,000 new major league record. And as I was coming out the field, Gaylord Perry said, "Digger, says how many you think come to see you?" <laughs> 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 Given the era that you all played in, what do the three of you think of uh, modern day pitchers and the pitch count? I, I like I, I like to throw up when I hear about the pitch count. <laughs> <laughs> when we played, there was there was no pitch counts. I mean, you pitch until the manager took you out, and I'm sure these guys. You probably threw 130, 40 pitches. I've done it and. You didn't think anything of it. That was our job. You got the ball, you go out and pitch nine innings. That's what you get paid to do. We didn't have long men and then middle men and then and, uh, setup men and short men and then your closer. We, did, we didn't have those. We just, you got the ball and you're not going to pitch for another four days. So, you know, you go out and pitch nine innings, if not eight and two thirds or eight and a third or whatever. That's what we got paid to do. And if his name was Whitey Ford, it would be around. He'd be still there in the ninth inning. Yes, we would have a two-hour ball game because he was ahead of the head of the whole game. Yeah. And time was not a factor in those days. Now, who's, who's your closer? Duran? Luis Arroyo. Luis left-handed? Left-handed. Yeah, and Arroyo. And Ryan Duran. And Duran, yeah. Ryan Duran, some of you might remember, wore thick glasses and he couldn't see too good. And his first pitch would always be up in the upper deck and he'd take his glasses off and wipe them. And Nogi would always say, he wears glasses, but he still can't see through it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dick? Well, the pitch count, the thing I think about is if you throw 60 pitches and you're out of the game, you're a 60 pitch pitcher the rest of your life. Yes. How did you all get stronger if you quit okay. Okay. a certain number of pitches if you don't build on to it? That's why you go to spring training. Yes. You build up. And everything. I think it's just a fad, uh, a fad that they're going through. They go back. I remember Whitlow and Wyatt told me, and he was our pitch oh, yeah. in Atlanta. His theory was, uh, and he's trying to get you minimize the pitch, he says, the batter's up for, he's, he's either on base or out of three pitches. But I know he meant four. But he's trying, he didn't want you to get to that, you know, two, two, three, two count. He's either going to get, he's going to be on first base or you're going to get him out on three pitches. That was his theory. It doesn't work all the time, but you know, for me, I know. Woodlow asked me one time why I pitched that by the inside. I said, because I had Brooks Robson playing third, third base in the <laughs> and Div Devonport playing third in San Francisco. Where'd you go pitch? <laughs>